heavy fire from cannon and rocket artillery, mortars, tanks, airstrikes and attacks by drones, cruise and ballistic missiles. The Russian troops use almost all types of weapons available to them in battles in the east of Ukraine, hitting not only the positions of the Ukrainian defenders but also civilians. Center and industrial zone of Kramatorsk, residential building in Avdiivka, and yet Chasivyar, Bakhmut, Toretsk, Kostantinivka, Grigorivka, Marinka, Vogledar and a dozen other settlements in the Donetsk and Luhansk regions became targets of the Russian army on March the 25th. Russia is killing civilians. On March 25th, the Russians killed two residents of Donbass in Pivnichny and Chasevyar. Another one person in the region was wounded. Now it is impossible to establish the exact number of victims in Mariupol and Volnovakha. Every war criminal will be punished. Pavlo Kirilenko, head of the Donetsk Regional Military Administration, on Facebook. The number of those who were killed due to the Russian bombing of Mariupol exceeds the number of victims in Hiroshima or Nagasaki in 1945, says Petro Andriushchenko, advisor to the mayor of Mariupol. But the world will know the exact number of victims only after the deoccupation of the city. In the meantime, residents who remain in Mariupol stand in queues for food and water, and the Russian occupiers continue to demolish the housing, destroying what was left after their previous shelling. At the same time, time, Russian propagandists do not get tired of launching out materials about the alleged restoration of the city and the trained extras call life in ruins a piece of paradise. For the vast majority of people, at least for 80 thousands of Mariupol residents, this is definitely not a piece of paradise. This is an everyday struggle for life. This is somewhere life in ruins, somewhere life without lights, somewhere life in basements and in constant survival. There is no salary. At the end of March, they began to slowly pay off the salary for January. But nobody cares how people had been surviving all this time. The prices are mad. In the part of the Donetsk region now controlled by Ukraine, mandatory evacuation continues. For seven months, almost 50,000 citizens left for safer regions of Ukraine. The police and volunteers evacuated all the children from Vogledar, Velika Novosilka, Trasivyar, and they continue to evacuate kids from Avdiivka, Siversk, Bakhmut and other settlements. This is Darinka. She used to live in Avdiivka with her family and their parrot called Limonchik. Law enforcement officers took them to Mirnohrad. How long have you been here? For three days. And how do you feel about it? Good. 11-year-old Ihor is also settling in a new safe place. His dad stayed in their hometown and he entrusted his son to the White Angels evacuation crew. Who do you want to become in the future? Me, a firefighter. A firefighter? Are you going to save people? Yes. Residents of Donbass, who are not ready to evacuate, do not leave their basements for days due to the incessant artillery and air shelling of the Russian army. They were left without water, heat and electricity, at times without mobile connection. The necessary medicines, food and drinking water are delivered to them by law enforcement officers and volunteers. Uh, all you see are um, uh, people uh, pushed to the very limit of their existence and survival and, and resilience in them. Houses are crushed by military firepower, roofs are ripped off, apartment buildings are, are riddled with holes, uh, chunks missing, the constant threat of uh, exploded shells, bombs underfoot, uh, and some people still living in the shelters are uh, trying to survive these uh, intense hostilities. The mass killings of civilians and the destruction of settlements are not episodic war crimes of Russians in Ukraine. This is a part of their strategy, military experts say. Russia is physically destroying cities and villages in Donbass so that Ukrainian defenders cannot use them for defense. So in the Luhansk region, Severodonetsk, Popasna, Rubizhne, Shchastya, Kremina are almost completely destroyed. In the Donetsk region, only ruins remained from Volnovakha, Vogledar, Marinka, Liman. Solidar is actually razed to the ground. Some settlements are not subject to restoration after the Russian invasion started. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Valeria Nakipalova, UATV News.